Hello everyone, it's me again, Teacher John. This tutorial is for statistics and probability, a subject which is intended for grade 11 senior high school students in the Philippines. So for today's objectives, at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to identify the independent and dependent variables. For today's topic, we will be discussing independent and dependent variables. So first, let us define what is a variable. So a variable is something that can take on different values for different subjects in a given research. So it represents person or objects that can be manipulated controlled or merely measured for the sake of research. So variation shows how much a variable varies. So constants are variables with little variation. So now let's have independent and dependent variables. So there are two types of variables according to relationship. So again, that's independent and the dependent variable. So first, let's define what's an independent variable. So it is usually manipulated variable that causes change in another variable. So it is commonly known as the cost or reason behind changes. So it still varies but the variation is relatively known or taken into account. So for dependent variables, so those are affected by the independent variable and depends on the other variables or factors and it is something that is influenced and affected. It is also associated with the word effect or outcome. So here's the summary in comparison between the independent and the dependent variable. So again, independent variable is intentionally manipulated while dependent variable is intentionally left alone. So independent variable usually is controlled and dependent variable is measured. So independent variable vary at known rate. And for dependent variable, it varies at an unknown rate. So independent variable is the cost and the dependent variable is the effect. So let us have examples so to identify the independent and the dependent variable. So for example number one, a research study about the relationship between the time spent on social media and the academic performance of the students. For our independent variables, so it's the time spent on social media and the dependent variables is the academic performance of the student. So why is it that the independent variable is the time spent on social media? So this is a variable that we can actually manipulate and whatever or how much time spent on social media it affects the academic performance of the students. For example, number two, study on the effect of amount of time spent on sleeping the night before the test on the test scores. So for our independent variable, so that is the amount of time spent on sleeping. So again, this is a variable that can be manipulated. So... For the dependent variable, that would be the test score. So the test scores depends on the amount of time spent on sleeping. So it might be that um, if you sleep longer, your test scores would be higher. Or if you sleep a um, short period of time, your test score might be lower. Okay, for example, number 
a relationship between educational background and work performance. So for our independent variable, so that is the educational background, and for the dependent variable, that is the work performance. So it could be that if the educational background of the worker is high, um, their work performance is also high and vice versa. Then for number four, a study on the amount of social media exposure and the confidence level of teenagers aged 13 to 18 years old. So independent variable again is the amount of time spent on social media and for the dependent variable is the confidence level. So it could be that if the student or the teenager spent more time on social media, um, their confidence level might be high or it could also be low. So it means that the confidence level um, is the effect for the amount of time spent on the social media. So that is all for the topic. So now we would check what have we learned. So identify the independent and dependent variable in each of the following items. For number one, the amount of time spent on reading books and the creativity level of grade 12 young students at Des Marinas Integrated High School. Number two, the relationship between time spent on playing mobile games and the analytical skill level of grade 11 ADM students. And number three, the relationship between the financial literacy level and the borrowing behavior of deaf ed teachers at Des Marinas Integrated High School. Let us check your answers. For number one, the independent variable is the time spent on reading books. And the dependent variable is the creativity level of the student. For number two, the independent variable is the time spent on playing mobile games. And the dependent variable is the analytical skill level. And for number three, the independent variable is the financial literacy level, and the dependent variable is the borrowing behavior of teachers. So I hope you got all the correct answer. And that is all for today's topic. So we're done for today, and thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot and see you in our next lesson. Bye!